Hey there, Wilcorns! Today, we're diving into The Help by Catherine Stockett. And let me tell you, this book is like a buffet of awesomeness with a side of giggles. Get ready to laugh, cry, and cheer on some badass ladies from the comfort of your reading nook. So grab a plate or a book and let's dig in. First things first, let's talk about the characters. We've got Abilin, the wise and sassy maid, who, who's not afraid to speak her mind. You'll be rooting for her every step of the way. Then there's Minnie, Abby Lynn's best friend, who's got a mouth as sharp as a knife but a heart as big as Texas. These ladies are the dynamic duo, like peanut butter and jelly, or fries and ketchup. You get the idea. But hold on to your hats, folks, because we've got Skidder. The determined and rebellious white woman who is about to turn Jackson, Mississippi, upside down. Skitter ain't your typical southern belle. She's got dreams of becoming a writer and a fierce desire for justice. When she teams up with Abilene and Minnie to tell the stories of the help, you better believe sparks are gonna fly. Now, let's talk about the humor in this book. Prepare yourself for some laugh-out-loud moments that will have you snorting like a pig at a mud party. Stockett's writing is like a stand-up comedian sneaking into your bookshelf and dropping one-liners like confetti. You'll find yourself chuckling at Minnie's sharp weed and cheering on Abilene's clever comebacks. Trust me, you won't be able to keep a straight face. Now, what makes The Help truly remarkable is the way it tackles serious issues with a touch of humor. Stockett skillfully addresses the racial inequality and discrimination of the 1960s South, but she does it in a way that's both thought-provoking and entertaining. It's like eating broccoli covered in melted cheese, healthy and delicious. As you dive deeper into the book, you'll become emotionally invested in these characters' lives. You'll ex experience their struggles, their triumphs, and their moments of vulnerability. You'll cheer when they stand up to the oppressive society and fight for what's right. And when they come together, women from different walks of life, to create something powerful, you'll feel an overwhelming sense of sisterhood that will warm your heart like a cup of hot cocoa on a winter's day. The Help is not just a story. It's a call to action. It reminds us that even in the face of adversity, change is possible. Stockett's writing will leave you feeling inspired and motivated to make a difference in the world. Whether it's through big gestures or small acts of kindness. So, my fellow book enthusiasts, if you're looking for a hilarious and heartwarming read that tackles important issues without being, without losing its sense of humor, the sense is the the help is the book for you. It's like a roller coaster ride of emotions with twists, turns, and belly laughs along the way. So grab a copy, find a cozy spot, and get ready to be entertained and enlightened. And remember, as Evelyn would say, you is kind, you is smart, you is important. Happy reading, you all. But alright, buckle up, my literary comrades, because there's more to say about the help than just a few witty lines. So it's the bonus part. One thing that st struck me about this book is how how it brings the vibrant setting of 1960s Mississippi to life. Tocket's vivid descriptions will transport you to a time of big hair, poodle skirts, and Elvis on the radio. You'll feel the oppressive heart of the deep south, taste the sweet tea on your leaves, and hear the twang or twang in the characters' voices. 
It's like stepping into a time machine minus the wonky signs and the risk of accidentally altering history. And let's not forget the uh, about the scrumptious food. Oh, my taste buds were tingling with every mention of Minnie's mouth-watering fried chicken or her famous chocolate pie. Cue the drilling. But it's not just about the food itself. It's, uh, it's the way Scott uh, Stockett uses it as a metaphor for connection and shared experiences. You'll start craving a slice of pie and a cup of tea like it's your job. Now, let's talk about the writing style. Stockett has a way with words that will make you want to high-five her through the pages. Her prose flows like a lazy river on a summer's day, smooth and inviting. It's like she's whispering this story directly into your ear, making you feel like you're part of the secret club. You'll find yourself flipping through the chapters faster than a squirrel chasing an acorn, eager to uncover the next nugget of wisdom or a burst of laughter. But beyond the humor and the captivating storytelling, the help delves deep into the complex relationships between women. It explores themes of friendship, loyalty, and the unbreakable bonds that form when people come together against adversity. The book reminds us that even in a society that tries to divide us, we are stronger when we stand united. It's like a love letter to sisterhood wrapped in a package of sass and solidarity. And here's a little bonus for you movie buffs out there. The Help was turned into a film and let me tell you, it's a cinematic gem. Watching these characters come alive on the big screen is like adding a dollop of whipped cream to your already delicious pie. The performances are top-notch and the movie stays true to the book spirit. So grab some popcorn, gather your friends and have a movie night that will leave you with a warm, fuzzy feeling in your heart. So in conclusion, The Help is a literary gem that will have you laughing, crying and cheering for the underdogs. It's a book that reminds us of the power of our voices, the importance of standing up for what's right, and the incredible impact we can have when we join forces. So my dear friends, grab a copy, dive into the tale of courage, and let yourself be swept away by the incredible journey that awaits you. And remember, as you turn the last page and bid farewell to Evelyn, Minnie and Skitter, carry their stories with you and let them inspire you to make your own mark on the world. Because together we can change things one page at a time. Happy reading folks!